Hey everybody. Oh, hello. And today we are going to be uh, opening up a case of unbroken bonds. Not a case, a, a box, a booster box. A case would be exorbitant. Um, but we're going to be opening up an entire booster box of unbroken bonds. And yeah, essentially, uh, Unified Minds is coming out in a few days. And I figured this would be a nice send off for unbroken bonds. I might open up random packs here and there, but I think this is uh, the last full box of Unbroken Bonds that I'm going to open, especially as part of like a video like this. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And uh, I guess with that, let's get right into it. In terms of what we are looking for, it's a lot of things. Um, I don't have many of the cards. I do have a Rainbow Rare Reshiram and Charizard, but I would still love to pull that. A full art of that would also be amazing. Um, pulling a full art would be great. That would, it's not something I have. Um, I think any of the full art trainers would also be really awesome. So I do have a full art welder, so uh, that's great. That's good news. So, all right, let's uh, pull some of these out. And so you can actually see these, I'm hoping that these aren't too damaged because they've got like a thing here at the very top, which is not ideal. A crimping problem, but hopefully that'll just be uh, just a random error. Anyways, start with this half of the box. Put those up there, and let's uh, let's let's just jump right into it. All right. What do we got? If we can open this pack up, let's see what we got. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got this code card for y'all. Enjoy. I have no idea. Oh, I have no idea if that is a white code or a green code. All right. Triple acceleration energy, energy spinner, Rhydon, Growlithe, Ghastly, over here, Togepi, Pikachu, Murkrow, hey, a reverse Vikavolt, very nice, and a Marshadow. So that was a white code card. Boom. Okay. Actually, gonna set this back there. Cool. Very nice start. Nice start indeed from a set that doesn't give you much. We got a little bit of something. Now, I don't know if this is the second run or the first. Um, this could, I don't know. I don't know which direction the code card is for either one. So I'm hoping that it is the first run. Here is the code card for y'all. All right. Okay. We got a Fire Energy, a Dust Island, a Golbat. And the reason I'm separating out the uh, trainers is I keep the trainers. That way I can uh, use them for play and have extras, etc. Growlithe, a Reverse Venonat. Hey! A Guard of War and Sylveon GX. This is a nice pull. It's not worth a ton, but it's pretty. And it's a Tag Team GX. That's two hits in a row. I don't know if that's ever been done before in Unbroken Bonds. No, it, it definitely has. But this is really nice. Okay. Boom. Going to the back. All right. That's awesome. All right. Let's put that over there. So in terms of the cards that I already have for this set, I actually have all of the non-holographic cards now in my collection. So in terms of what we are looking for, there's the code card. Uh, obviously, any of the hollows are greatly appreciated in completing the set. The reverse rares, the reverse hollows actually are also, hey, Walter, are also really uh, useful for me. So um, yeah, I'll take those reverse rares as I'm trying to complete a master set as well. A glam out, a seal, and a miss, a miss mages. Okay, that's fine. That's whatever. Start with a restaurant pack. See if we can get any uh, any love from this one. But uh, thus far, that's the only green code card that we've had. So boom, there's a code card for you. Three, four. Bless these pulls. Water, victory bell, Firo. Charger Bug, an Oddish, a Zubat, Coughing, Doduo, Poliwag, a Reverse Ghastly, and a Blacephalon. If anybody out there is trying to run that Baby Blounds build, you know, you need those Blacephalons, so I'll take it. Another thing I'm actually looking for, strangely enough, 
are the Spiritum, hollow and reverse. I'll take that too from this set because I'm trying to build a Spiritum deck. I don't know if this deck will be competitive after um, rotation though. So there's the code card for y'all. I don't know if this will be competitive after rotation because uh, you never know, right? Like it could be that, uh, you know, this is just too difficult to get it rolling given the fact that you lose Nest Ball and Ultra Ball, etc. So Oddish, A reverse Slowpoke and an Arbok. Yeah, that's not really the, not the most ideal of cards to pull actually. All right, let's keep her going. Keep this train rolling. All right. Okay, I gotta figure out a better way to open these because that, that is not working out for me. All right, there is the code card for y'all. Enjoy. One, two, three, four from the back. Lightning energy. Oh, there's a Haunter, a Kleppa, a Happiny, a Cottony, an Ekans, a Carvana, a Litten, a Clefairy, a Reverse Rare in the Agron. I'll take that. And a Sea King. Ugh. Okay. okay, let's get into this. These packs feel like they're very sticky, hard to get open. Um, okay, so that is the code card for y'all. Just put the thing down, flip it and reverse it. What do we got? We got another lightning energy, okay. We got a gloom, we got a dodrio. We have got a radicate, we've got a tentacle. Drowsy, sitting in a tree, if you know Leonhart. Sandial, <laughs> Reverse Oddish, which I definitely have many of, and a Marowak, okay. So we've definitely hit a dry spell now, as one can expect from Unbroken Bonds. Anyways, uh, speaking of setting ourselves, oh Lord. Speaking of getting ourselves ready for the next set. So I opened a bunch of pre-release packs, like 53 in total, which is, Absolutely absurd. Um, there you go, there's the code card. Um, 53 is absolutely absurd, but my main concern is the set is 236 cards, not including the secret rares. Um, and my worry is that uh, in those 53 packs, I did not get a play set out of the packs of any trainer card. Um, some trainer cards, I still don't even have a crocodile. okay. I don't even have some of the trainer cards still, like Night City I don't have in a regular form. I never got a Giant Hearth, regular or reverse hollow. Um, yeah, there's a few of those that I just still haven't even pulled, so. Okay, there we go, there's the code. So my real concern is because the set is so large and because all these trainers are uncommons, that it is going to be a job and a half of getting complete play sets of most of these cards, especially things like Cherish Ball. So, oh, Reverse Gengar, I like that. That's definitely gonna help. And a Stack Attacka. I mean, we'll put it back here because technically it's a hollow, but not a good one. It's not, not something to cheer about. But that Reverse Gengar is actually, that's the pull of the pack to be honest. Um, but yeah, so like after all those packs, I have two extra Cherish Balls, um, but Misty's Request, or Misty's Favor, I can't remember how they named it in English. Ooh, white code card. Oh, I see shiny. Okay, let's see what we got here and then I'll go back into this. But yeah, Misty's Request I have a bunch of because it came in the pre-releases as part of the 27 card kit. So I get plenty of those. Green's Exploration, always nice if you want to play that Reshi Green's build, which is going to be good. Riolo, Esper, Porygon, Derumaka, Caterpie, Reverse Doduo, and oh no, is this our full art for the box? A full art Venonat. Woo, I have so much excitement. I have three of these, I don't need it. And I haven't even opened up that many boxes and I have three of them still. If that tells you anything about the fact that I don't want it. Oh. All right, we know this is a, a green code card, so. Let's just keep chatting about post rotation, shall we? Yeah, so getting play sets of stuff, Cherish Ball right now, I think is going for somewhere around $5, which is absolutely redonkulous that um, people are charging that for uh, basically a Pokemon search. But 
When you got nothing else, you can charge those crazy prices. Hey, and a Doug Trio. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but I think those are gonna be expensive. I think um, Giant Hearth, Night City are gonna be expensive. Um, the good news is if you wanna run that Misty's Request Lapras Slow Duck deck, people will be running it, but I don't think it'll be that expensive. So uh, probably not a cheap deck, but definitely a cheaper deck to run if you're thinking about running something from the new set. Power Plant also uh, probably might start going up in price soon, just given the new set is going to be so focused on, oh, there I mentioned. It's gonna be so focused on um, abilities with that Latios and the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the uh, Keldeo, not Latios, but Keldeo and Mew and Mewtwo and, and all of those cards, all of those abilities. Oh God, another green. Okay, there's the code. Two, three, four. Okay. Metal Energy, Pukamuku, Togetic, Fairy Charm, Lightning. Good if you want to run that Whimsicott build post rotation. Spiro, Jigglypuff, Lickitung, Reverse, and a Cliff Fable. Very cute. So, in terms of a lot of the new decks, though, I've already done some talking about some of my favorite decks. I think once I get my pre orders in from Full Grip Games, uh, hashtag not a sponsor, but uh, obviously because I'm. This is a new channel. But yeah, Fulgur Games uh, and Andrew Mahone and them, they did the uh, pre-orders for cards. There you go. Um, and so once I get those in, I'll actually build out those decks, both online and offline. Do some recording, both online and offline. Some IRL play, maybe next weekend. Uh, and have some videos of me playtesting. I know many people are out there playtesting, but I think I've got some ideas for some extra spice. Uh, that could make it interesting. A Polyrath Reverse, rare, I believe. Yeah, Reverse Rare, nice. And an Aromatisse, okay. So, how many packs is that? We've got four packs left on this side. We've gotten one GX and one Full Art. I don't know if that's good or bad for the pull rates. Uh, you know, four packs, you still, still got opportunity, right? Still got some opportunity. There's the code card for y'all. Um, but yeah, we'll see if this can get any better. Charger Bug, Chip Chip Ice Axe, Samson Oak, Sandshrew, Murkrow, Oddish, Strevis Salandit, a Reverse Glamour Ekans, and a Mel Metal Hollow, which I certainly have several of now. But fine, we'll take it. It's another Hollow, it's another hit. Uh, first half of the box, looking the average. I guess that's probably the best way to describe it is average. Oh, white code card. Okay, white code card time. There you go. One, two, three, and four. You got a fighting energy. What are we gonna get in this one? I hope it's something pretty. Uh, Ultra Forest, Carton Boy, which no one ever plays. <laughs> Litten, Murkrow, and Oddish. Miss Drevis, a reverse surprise, and a full art reds challenge. Heck yes, heck yes. This is what it's about right here. This, this is what it is all about. Ah, oh, it's such a good full art. I was worried because we pulled that full art venonat and I'm like, am I gonna get another full art in the box? What am I getting? Oh my God, this reds challenge is fucking beautiful though. Look at that, Ah, oh, it looks so good. Okay, very happy with that pull. Yes. All right, making my day with that Reds challenge. All right, okay, things have really heated up in the box right now. I mean, they're gonna cool down, I'm sure. But really like that we pulled that, uh, that Reds challenge there. So there is the code card for y'all. And then second to last pack for this side of the box. Fairy energy. Surprise box. Energy Spinner. Radita Goldeen. Alolan Diglett Slowpoke. Litten Reverse Ultra Force Carton Boy. And an Incineroar, which is maybe gonna get played. No, it's not. I don't care how much extra damage you need to do. You are not playing that Incineroar. It is just too long of a walk for a card that just adds 30 damage to your attacks. 
Uh, it does only give up one prize, so I guess that's that's got that going for it, which is nice, I guess. Well, uh, there you go, there's a code card. Boom, three, four, from the back, we got a fairy energy. Chata, electromagnetic radar, Frogadier, Zubat, Coughing, a Doduo, a Poliwag, Spritzy, a Reverse Rhyhorn, and a Corbominable. Okay, so as you can see at the back, these are the cards that we have pulled thus far. We've got Marshadow, Stack Attack, and Melmeadow for the regular hollows. Got a Gardevoir and Sylveon GX, regular GX, a Full Art Venomoth, and this bad boy, the Reds Challenge. So that's the first half of the box. What can we get from the second half? Oh, baby. All right, so let me just pull these out. Pull these out, put these there, set the box to the side. So, uh, oh, nice. Split it up perfectly, perfect. All right, pack number one of half number two. Oh, I'm so graceful. I'm just so graceful at all of this, aren't I? I'm just, here's your code. Don't answer that, I am graceful. Just, just, just know it. I'm graceful, but not at opening packs. Chip Chip Ice Axe, a Tyrogue, a Janine, Spritzy, Dodrio, Doduo, Rhyhorn, Meltan, which Sam hates. So showing some Sam hate for this Pokemon since she can't be here to hate it with us. Hey, a Reverse Sand Slash, I'll take it. And a Purr Ugly. Hopefully this side of the box isn't looking Purr Ugly. Uh, hopefully we still got some good pulls left in us. So, one thing that I am looking for is a, uh, even though I have a uh, Rainbow Rare, I haven't actually managed, surprisingly, out of like six boxes, I have not pulled a Reshiram and Charizard. Not once, not a full art, not a regular, not a hyper rare, just haven't pulled it. Um, I wanted to get one to put in my binder, so I did a few weeks ago before, well, it was still high priced, but um, not quite as high as what it is now. Um, so I have one and, oh, Reverse Sandile and a Rhyperior. So, yeah. But I went ahead and uh, I, I got one of these guys um, as a Gem Mint tin because it's gonna be really hard to pull one of these out of the box Gem Mint tin. It's not guaranteed. Get it out of the box, it could be a eight or a nine even, but uh, getting a 10 is not guaranteed. Even if the GXs usually uh, rate a little higher. I have noticed though, a lot of the ones that I've been pulling and that other people pull, uh, there we go. They are off cut weirdly. Um, this box looks okay thus far in terms of the cut, but uh, one, two, three, four, flip it around. Got a lightning energy. Oh, don't want to skip layer on there. Martial arts dojo and a fairy charm ability. Drowsy. But yeah, there's been some miscuts or off centers, I should say, not miscuts, but off centers that I've seen. Reverse Porygon and a Dugong. Okay. Okay, I don't know how much this Dugong is really gonna see play, but I'll keep it to the side. It's a playable card, potentially. But because of that, I figured I'll get the Gem Mint 10, and I also got a Gem Mint 10, which you, can, uh, you can't really see there, of this Pikachu and Zekrom. I think Pikachu and Charizard are the two types of cards that I wanna start my PSA collection off of. I like, uh, I like, you know, the idea of collecting those out there. It's the code card for you of collecting Charizards and Pikachus, right? Pikachu has a long history of getting a lot of cool cards, especially in Japan. So I think my Pikachu collection is going to lean more Japanese because they bring fewer of the hollows um, to America because they don't think Americans like Pikachu as much. And I, I guess that's true, but um, sad if it is true. Ekans, Drowsy, Reverse Wooper, and a Butterfree. Okay, so... Um, this side of the box has been stingy, to say the least. Very stingy. All right. So, oh, oh, white code card. So maybe we got something here. So uh, it reveals its, itself to us just as we start complaining. Great. So we got a water energy. We've got a Torah cat. We've got a surprise box. Another Chata. 
Inke, Caterpie, Leferi, a Poliwag, Ekans, a Reverse Coughing, and a Togekiss, which is fine, I guess. The Hollow, so we're right over there with the other Hollows. Because I guess that's what you're supposed to do, even if it's a Hollow that you already have. I don't know if I have all the Hollows for this set already. Maybe. Is there, is there a Lucario in this set? I don't know. Okay, code card, there you go. Code card. Four, from the back, Psychic Energy, another Greens Exploration. So yeah, like I was saying about the pull rates for the uh, trainers, I feel like they are much higher in Unbroken Bonds, which is weird. People always think of Unbroken Bonds as being a very stingy, oh, 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 we got a Whimsicott. Hey, Whimsicotti. I, I have all the cards that I need to build this deck. So I don't need the extra, but I'll take it because it's $2. That's fine, fine, I'm fine with that. This Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. Anger out, not rage quitting anymore. But yeah, I feel like, you know, the amount of trainers that you get out of these boxes is actually not bad. So from a playability standpoint, I actually think that um, Unbroken Bonds is not that stingy. Whereas the other box, Unified Minds, feels less stingy on the GXs, but much more stingy when it comes to the actual cards that you're getting. But look at that, two, two right there. Two somewhat playable cards, Power Plant for sure. Growlithe, a Cubone, a Riolu, oh, Oregon, a Venonat Reverse, and a Salazzle, okay. I don't really know if that's that playable. I think some people are running Salazzles, but I don't know about that. What is what is it? What does it do? Once during your turn, you may discard an energy of your hand if you do draw three cards. Ah, uh, as a draw engine for fire, it's not that great because you already have Welder. I don't know who was making that card and thought, you know what fire needs? Fire needs more draw engine. So we're gonna put it onto this card as an ability. No, no, that was a bad idea. You did a bad. You did a bad. Right on, Jigglypuff, a Bellsprout, a Diglett, a Poliwag, Rhyhorn, a Togepi, and a Never Give Up Raichu. Uh, okay, fine, fine Raichu, you win, I won't give up. Something good is left, something good is left in this goodness, I know it. I can feel it in the water. I can feel it in the air. Feel it in the air. I don't know if that's actually the quote from Lord of the Rings, but it sounds good enough, right? All right, unbroken bonds. There's your code. Use them while you can, these codes, because when Unified Minds comes out, the unbroken bonds codes are going to go much, much more down in price. And a Giovanni's Exile, Doduo. We got a Rhyhorn. We got a Meltan that no one likes. Spiro, Lickitung. Sandshrew and an Arcanine. Okay. Okay. This card has some playability to it. Put that hollow at the back. Hollows at the back. Okay. What do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, by the mouth of a box, we should have at least three more hits in this set of nine. Hopefully, some more GXs. We've only gotten. Three for the whole box? Maybe two more in here? Maybe? 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 Although that red's challenge, like, that makes the box for me. I'm, I'm happy. I would say I would die happy, but I would not die happy because I don't want to die. I don't think that's worth dying for. So let's not get, let's not get too, too intense about this, okay? We got a Dark Energy, we got a Rhydon, we got a War Turtle. See, this lineup of all Pokemon and no trainers, yeah, that's what, um, that's what Unified Minds looks like a lot. At least in my experience. Maybe I'm just unlucky. Well, I got very lucky pulling the Pokemon, but okay. We got a Poliwag and a Landris. That's one of our three other hits. So, oh, I'm gonna scoot you over there, Pikachu, just a little bit. Just a little bit, buddy. All right, so maybe we only have two hits left, which is worrying. That's worrying. Okay, eight packs, two hits. Hopefully, hopefully we can shoot for the moon and try to get a Reshazard. 
as one of the hits. Uh, there we go. And we're gonna go four from the back. And Psychic. Got a Fire Crystal. I think this is the first, is this the first Fire Crystal we pulled out? Dang. Rough. If you're trying to build a Reshazard deck. I have many Fire Crystals, I don't know. Worried about that, but hey, a Reverse Sea King, I'll take it. And a Licky Licky. This goofy, this, this goofy Pokemon has a rare in two sets in a row. Unified Vines and Unbroken Bonds. And I'm like, okay, you gave him two rares in a row. I mean, I guess when you have 236 cards, you're kind of like stretching for like ones to make the rare, but boy, howdy. Oh, oh, okay, white code card. This is one of our other hits. Might be our second to last hit of this box. Four from the back. Okay, we got that leaf energy. Got a hit on top, a Glyceor. Frogadier, Ghastly, Carvana, Togepi, Esper. Squirtle, Crabrawler, and a Dedenne! Hey, ho, Dedenne in the house! Uh, maybe my singing should stop, but boom, Dedenne, that's awesome. That is great, that is a like an $18 card. So, but you see what I mean? If you actually look at this Dedenne right here, you can see how much further off center it is from the bottom to the top. Um, yeah, so that's what I mean about the fact that you're pulling this and it's packed fresh and it looks good for the most part, but that off-centering is the difference between a nine and a 10. Okay, we're gonna set that Dedenne right up over there. Sorry, Landers, we're gonna block you a little bit. Move this to the side, but hey, a Dedenne as one of our GXs, I will always take that every single day. All right, here is your code card. Two, three, four. We have a Metal Energy, a Metapod, a Kogus Trap, a Dust Island. God, there's so many Dust Islands. I am never going to play a Dust Island. Like, literally ever. Ghastly, Litten, and Wigglytuff. Okay. But good lord. I mean, I might start sending, because I don't send trainers. I'm not planning on sending trainers back with my bulk. Because they're so useful if you have extras, if you want to build multiple decks that need the same trainers, but, uh, or if you just want to give trainers to your friends, right? Like, you're build. oh, this is another hit. This is another hit, boys and girls and people. Um, <laughs> okay, let's see what we're gonna get here. We got a Water, a Haunter, Crocorock, a Beastbringer, Porygon, a Froakie, Aeron, a Seal, we got a bell sprout. Hey, a reverse Mew. All right, and a Lucario and Melmetal GX. I think the world is trying to tell me to build a stall deck, but no. Hey ho, I won't do that. So that might be our last GX. It may even be our last hit of the box, but we've still got four packs left. One of each pack art. Might as well see if they threw something a little extra in for us. We got two full arts, so. I'm actually not that, um, I'm not, I don't really believe that they are gonna give us a hyper rare or a secret rare, given that they've given us two full arts already, but we can always hope. Got a fairy charm lightning, hey -o. Devolution spray, which I don't know how often that would get used. A cottony, a venonat, a meowth, a geodude, a porygon, a reverse reds challenge. Actually, that's not bad. That's not a bad card. And a Sharpedo, which people are talking about running that Sharpedo in the Dark Box deck. I am not, I haven't really tested it that much, but from what I've seen, um, if you run that, you might actually, you're obviously gonna run some super scoop ups, but you really wanna get that thing off your bench if you do run it. It's not great for energy acceleration, but um, you might even consider running. And I, I mentioned this and people are like, ah, oh, no, no, that's a terrible card. But one copy of Giovanni's Exile, just so that you can get it onto the bench and then just make sure it is gone forever and never to return again. So, cause that super scoop up, man, I've seen it miss more than it hits when I see people play it. Now, look, the reality of a dice roll is that it's gonna be 50-50 every time you roll it, but boy, it doesn't feel 50-50 when you watch and when you play it yourself. 
Reverse Goldeen, and a Venomoth. Okay. So we are down to the final two packs. Let's see if Sylveon and Gardevoir can deliver something beautiful unto us. Got that code card for y'all. Get rid of that trash. Okay, we have a Fighting. We have a Graveler. We have a Porygon 2. We have a Martial Arts Dojo. Fitting for the Fighting Energy. Litten, a Krabby, a Tangela, an Oddish, a Wooper, a Clefable Reverse. I'll take that. And a Miss Magus. Okay. Now, final pack. Last pack, Magic. Can we pull something? Can we pull something beautiful, please? Anything. I don't know if I have ever pulled a rainbow rare out of any of the boxes I've opened. Odds are this won't be it either. There's that last code card for you. Four from the back, last pack magic. Can we make something happen? We got a Pokegear, okay, a triple acceleration, a Tentacruel, a Lickitung, a Litten, a Krabby, we got a Tangela, we got an Oddish, we got a Reverse Weezing, which I'll take, and a Polyrath. Okay. Okay, let's quickly recap what we have got. All right, so for the recap, let's just look at it here. We got a Hollow Mars Shadow, very playable, I like that. Stack Attacker, not very playable. A Melmetal, I don't think it's that playable. A Togekiss, also probably not that playable. A Landris, which I also haven't seen anybody play. And an Arcanine, which is potentially playable. And that rushes our deck. Then we have a Whimsicott for our first GX, a Lucario Melmetal for second GX, a Gardevoir and Sylveon for a third GX, a Dedenne for our fourth, our Full Art Venomoth GX, and that Reds challenge that, oh, so nice. This is a fantastic card to add to this collection, something that I don't have to go out and purchase to complete my master set. So I think with that, we are going to call it an episode. Thank you so much uh, for watching us. And, uh, and yeah, uh, definitely check out some of my other videos. Subscribe if you like this kind of thing. I'll be opening a bunch of unbroken, oh, sorry, Unified Minds next week. So uh, definitely keep your eyes out for that, giving away some codes, and uh, follow me on Twitch. But thank you again, and I will see y'all next time. Carpe Awesome.